Hey everyone and welcome back to more live fire grilling with Lumber Capital Log Yard. It's been a long time since you joined us on one of our grilling adventures, so we're very pleased to be back here with you all tonight, grilling up some rib steaks for tonight's dinner. Mmm, yum, I can't wait. Let's get into this video. <music> Okay, we're gonna get the fire started up here for our steaks tonight. Uh, I've got it set up in here so I can get my, my fire going. There's a little something here that I was taught by my son, Casey, that you put a pile of ash, instead of spraying that starter all over, instead of spraying that starter all over your charcoal or wood or whatever and if you notice it just burns away real quick and you don't get a fire started it acts as a wick you don't get that stinking smell all over your charcoal and it doesn't just burn up real quick it'll actually sit there and it'll burn for quite some time I mean, I don't have to teach everybody how to start a fire, but I thought I knew how to start one until I heard this little trick. And you'll get your fire going a lot quicker. You put a bunch of small stuff on there like normal. Because we got about an hour here of fire starting before we can cook. So that's what we're doing right now and get it warmed up. It's finally warmed up out here to, so we can do this. It's warmed up to 44 degrees. I know that may not sound warm to some people, but that's why I'm building a fire too. Now see that fire I'll get going. It'll sit there and, and cook on that, on that ash for quite a little bit. Give you a chance to get your fire going. We'll get these coals going and we'll put our steaks on. They're seasoned all up, ready to go. Seasoned them this morning. So it won't be, probably an hour. And we'll have enough coals here to do what we need to do. Okay, I'm out here getting my coals ready. And, and uh, while I'm thinking about it, I was just introduced to a some socks. It's pretty pretty interesting there. Camel City Mill. Yeah, there's a discount code down in the description that you can uh, you can get these socks if you want. But I've worn cowboy boots so much in my life, my toes are pretty clamped together. And uh, regular socks ride up and start pinching my toes, and it hurts. But I put on these, and they're all wool. They're wool socks. They come up close to your knee but uh, they don't bunch up, they fit nice and tight, and I have never had cold toes since I put those things on. So uh, just, if you're interested, try them. I've never done wool, but uh, this is the first time, but I'm impressed. So, doesn't have anything to do with barbecuing, but it keeps my feet warm, I know that. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do now is I've got some uh, burning logs inside the fire here. I'm going to move those to the outside so they quit burning and just smoke. So I got some good hickory smoke going. Now I'm going to fill this up with coal so it's big enough to handle all of these steaks we got here. Spread it out, spread it out wide enough that I got good fire for all those steaks. Good rib steaks, Misty Mountain Farm. Seasoned them up this morning. So they should be 
That should be just about big enough. Okay, now I get the lower the grill down to it. Lone Star Grill is uh, pretty pretty well built. It's a uh, 316 steel. The grate here is half inch uh, high carbon steel. I mean half inch spacing, half inch square. So once it gets hot, it stays hot. This thing holds heat real well. It's got fire brick in the bottom to retain your heat, make your heat come up. Um, it's got uh, big caster wheels, five inch wheels on it. This grill here is a, the 40, you know, f probably weighs about 330 pounds, I imagine. Uh, so it retains the heat real well. Got a lot of room to raise and lower it. You can get it low like I have it right now for, uh, for grilling steaks. Or you can raise it up higher for, for low and slow type cooking. But it's probably taken me about, I've probably been a, about an hour, probably is all getting uh getting the fire going so it's not that much longer than using charcoal um, but you got the hickory smoke which does wonders on steak so i'm getting ready to raise it up here and start putting those steaks on there This, uh, this is an option, this opening front door. It's got stainless steel handles on it so you, they don't rust all up and be a mess. I'm just gonna leave that down there. That steel's getting pretty hot. I wanna let that steel get hot so it marks those steaks real good and really sizzles. And I'm keeping keeping some fire going in there just in just in case I need a little more a little more coals. It's a good idea to split your wood down pretty small so that it burns quickly, and then you can break it up and drop the drop the coals down in. If you use too big of pieces, it takes a long time for them to to burn, burn through and they won't break up. Okay, that thing's getting pretty, pretty hot. Okay, let's, uh, and this is a big enough grill if you fire this up. Another, well, something I was gonna mention. This firebox on the side is removable. So if it's, summertime and it's really hot you can set this aside and keep your coals going so you don't have that that hot flame on you all the time okay it's sizzling so that's that's good we're not looking at a these are about an inch thick we're not looking at a long cook on these Look at that. That is one nice steak. I might eat that one. Like I say, these were seasoned this morning and I let them set out for probably an hour to kind of come to room temperature a little bit. They'll cook faster. But we got those smoking logs around the side so we got they were flaming until I moved them aside. Now they're just throwing smoke at me. So that's good hickory smoke on our steaks. I think the temperature outside now is about, oh man, let me see here what we got.
We got 42 degrees. I mean, I don't think you can barbecue without a new trail beer. This is a new one I haven't tried yet. Kind of got a chocolatey flavor to me, but it's good. We like, like I've mentioned before, we like our meat medium rare, so, so if you got some good hot coals down there, it takes 15 minutes maybe to cook a steak. We will soon find out. I'm gonna shake my firewood over here again and get the burned burned up stuff. Coals down in there. Once you get a bed of coals in there, it's not hard to keep your wood burning because it is so hot under that that it burns through that wood so you can so that you can rattle it down down in the coals. Oh yeah, no we're we got some good heat in there. We've cooked everything from from ribs to steak to you name it on here and I have not had anything that wasn't good. And if you were doing this, it's got an industrial type grill, so if you were to fire this up with, with coals, you could feed a lot of people. You could flip a lot of burgers on this thing. And it'll probably happen down at the new store. We'll, we'll take it down there and get it set up and have an opening as soon as the weather warms up where people are hap happy to come out and, and hang outside. And we'll, uh, we'll put a lot, of, a lot of burgers on here. Looking forward to it. It's been, it's been in the 20s, 15 degrees and 20, and it's been a little chilly. To, as long as you're standing by this thing, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's a good bit of coals. If I was doing a big a big cookout, I'd probably start a bunch of fire in this whole thing, so I'd have so I'd have uh, a good amount of coals already already bedded in there, and then just uh, supplement it with with my other coal over here. Okay, these steaks. We're on about 20 minutes is all, and they're up to medium rare temperature. With this heavy grate like this, once it gets hot, you don't, you don't lose that heat like you do in a, just a regular grill with a little grate on top of it. This thing stays hot and cooks your, cooks your food fast. So I'm getting ready to take them off. I'm gonna just put them on this this paper here and they're about 140 degrees. I had to take the small ones off quicker, the thinner ones. It takes a little longer to get it prepped than it does to cook them, but, but uh, that's good. That's good. We've got a meal now best thing to do raise this up while it's hot brush it off brush it off so that it's ready for next time I want to leave all of that on there lower it back down and let it let it burn off we'll be ready for the next 
barbecue session. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also check out our merch shop. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.